Armed with stealth F-35 jets, Israeli strike on Iranian nuclear facility stalled by one key U.S. weaponry? Israel has threatened to attack Iran as Tehran continues to enrich uranium beyond permissible limits set under an earlier nuclear deal. As talks between Iran and the United States to revive the deal, officially called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA, remain inconclusive, the shrill from Tel Aviv is getting louder. However, the claim to attack Iran could prove hollow as Washington has refused to expedite the sale of a system that Israel would need to bomb Iran if the need arises. The new commander of the Israel Air Force, IAF, Major General Tomer Bar has indicated that if required, Israel could hit Iran's nuclear program tomorrow, in an interview that was published in the Jerusalem Post. Bar, who presently leads the Force Design Directorate, will take leadership of the Israeli Air Force in April next. Barr has sounded the bugle with his ambitions that hint at an impending Israeli attack if Iran refuses to agree to the deal proposed by the United States and other participants. Iran has taken a hardened position, much to the disenchantment of all stakeholders and Israel. The talks have been hanging fire and show no signs of coming to a mutually agreed settlement. Earlier this month, Iran took a U-turn and walked back on all the prior compromises made in the previous deal. The seventh round of the talks held recently too ended in a stalemate. Besides an openly belligerent Israel that has made calls to bomb Iran if it did not go back to the deal, the U.S. special envoy to Iran has also warned Iran of an escalating crisis if the talks were to fail. The envoy has expressed concerns regarding Iran having the capability to build nuclear weapons if the deal was not concluded in a few weeks and if its uranium enrichment did not stop in time.